Well, if harvest wasn't fun on your farm this year, if you had corn stalks that were starting to tip over or lodge, perhaps the first place you looked is inside that stalk to see if we were dealing with a stalk rot issue. Well, this year in 2018, we did see a lot of stalk rot issues, unfortunately. And really the stalk rot is a result of stress. Why is the plant under stress? Well, this year we saw drought. We saw a lot of flooding or just excess moisture. We saw a lot of fields that really needed tile, didn't have tile, the water table was too high. We also saw fields where the weed pressure was tremendous. Also insects, diseases. There are a lot of issues this year. And, and let's take it one step further. How about fertility? Well, because of all the other conditions, the farmers either didn't get out to put the right fertility on, maybe they didn't do the right soil testing, they had leaching, they had denitrification of nitrogen. There were all kinds of problems. If the plant doesn't have the right fertility, it's also under stress. So when we've got all these stresses out there, then it's just much more easy for that plant to have an issue like stock rot as you get late in the season. You listed a lot of things there, Brian, but you didn't say it's the hybrid's fault. It's got to be the hybrid. Well, especially for farmers that saw multiple hybrids in the same field, and they said, well, this one had more of a problem than this other one. Are there some differences between hybrids? Certainly there are. Of course, there's tolerance differences that each hybrid is going to exhibit. But I'll say this, it's generally not the hybrid's fault. There are a lot of different factors that Brian listed and it's for a reason. It's not to take away blame from a certain seed company. It's just that, you know what, there's a lot of factors that go into all these things because with any disease, you need to have a susceptible host. So yes, you need to have a hybrid that is somewhat susceptible, but you also need that pathogen present and then you need the right environment for all that to happen. And we certainly saw that with many of these areas that Brian talked about having extreme weather of one uh, kind or the other. Maybe it was heat early and cool and wet later or vice versa. It doesn't matter. The plant went through multiple stresses through the year. And one of the things that happened is it got sick and we got this disease in the stock. So you think about it just like human beings. If we can reduce stress, then we have a lot less chance to get disease, right? Same thing with your crop. So like Darren said, yes, we don't really want to blame the hybrid, but we do know some hybrids are better. So if you know that you've got the potential for more stock rot, or if you've had this issue in the past, try to pick out really good varieties that are more tolerant. But even so, even when you do that, that's not the total answer and that's what we're trying to say today. So it really starts with you've got to have great drainage. If you do not have great drainage, you're so much more likely to have stock rot, it's crazy. So get that fixed first. Invest in some tile if you need to. Uh, maybe you've got to improve your calcium levels, do a little surface drainage, whatever it is, but fix the drainage. That's number one. Number two is always fertility. We talk primarily about potassium. That's the number one factor in stock rot. If I've got great potassium levels, and I, of course, had great drainage, I don't usually see a whole lot of stock rot. So when we talk about stock quality, it's potassium by far and away, number one, but then it's also manganese and it's copper. So look at those nutrients as well. Well, that is a big thing. You need a complete soil analysis if you're gonna try and diagnose some of these things. Any place that we see an issue with the combine, mark that spot. Then you can come back and do some specific soil testing in those areas, because a lot of times, hey, I just saw this in a couple of pockets out in the field. Find out what's out in there, and the only way to do it is a complete analysis. Yeah, and Darren mentioned, all right, you see this at harvest, but a lot of times these issues show up a little bit earlier in the year. We've started using a lot of satellite imagery on our farm. We do a lot of stuff with Farmer's Edge, for example, and we're getting daily satellite imagery. Well, you can see over time, some of these spots show up in the field and you go, ooh, there's something wrong there. That's right, there's something wrong. The question is what? And it's just like at harvest, when you see the yield map and you go, ooh, that spot's bad. Well, why? Well, at harvest, we, we can't really find a lot of the answers. So here's the point. Next summer, do at least a little bit of satellite imagery work, find out where those bad spots are, and then go out to those spots. Soil test, tissue test, look for weeds, insects, diseases, compaction, anything that could be causing the problem. Try to figure out what it is then, and now you have better management ideas going into the next year. All right, here's one other thing we haven't talked about yet. If your planter isn't perfect, you're going to have lots of problems. For example, this year, if you looked at your seeds and you said, man, some are up, some are not up yet, and it's a few days later before those other ones pop up, Look at those stalks all the way through the season. You can go out in a harvested field and see it right now that the stalk diameter differences are tremendous. And which plants are gonna suffer more? 
the plants that don't have a good root system, that don't have a good stock, they're just weaker all the way through the year. So make sure you're checking that with your planter, that you're getting everything placed at exactly the same depth, getting that spacing just right, getting your seeds singulated so you have good even emergence and a better chance to prevent these diseases going forward. Once again, we did see a lot of stock rot issues this year. We are concerned about it going into next year. So like we say, pick the right hybrids, take care of your drainage and fertility, and hopefully you'll be in a lot better shape in 2019. And don't forget to control weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <music>